welcome. Today we're going to talk about the threats and controls of shipping. So let's jump right in. The process of shipping involves two main parts, picking and packing the order, and shipping the goods. Now these boxes are inputs and outputs to this process. For example, when you make a sale, the sales order entry process produces a sales order and a picking ticket. Wait, what's a picking ticket? Well, it identifies which products and quantity of each product to remove from inventory and ship. That's basic enough. It just means what you need to pick from the inventory. So the picking ticket is sent to the warehouse and the goods are picked and packed. The packed goods are sent to shipping along with the picking ticket and the sales order. These documents are reconciled the shipping department creates two copies of the packing slip and bill of lading. Now you probably know what a packing slip is, but you may not have heard of a bill of lading. It's a legal contract that, uh, that defines responsibility of the goods in transit. The word lading means the action or process of loading a ship or other vessel with cargo. So when you hear lading, think loading. Thus, the bill of lading defines who is responsible after the loading has taken place. The goods are then given to the carrier along with the bill of lading and the packing slip. The copies of bill, the bill of lading and packing slip are then sent to billing and accounts re receivable. Sounds simple enough, but before you think it's all smooth sailing, we need to talk about the threats and controls to this process. The first threat is picking the wrong item or the wrong quantity. The second is the theft of inventory, and the third is the possibility of shipping errors. Let's look at the first one, picking the wrong item or the wrong quantity. Gerald here, here realizes that his pencil is ridiculously large and very impractical, so he orders himself 15 new pens. He sends his order into Acmeco, and Simmons is given the responsibility to pick and pack his order. But Simmons' hearing isn't too good, so he mistakes the order for 15 hens. Now, Acmeco prides itself on being the largest supplier of both pens and hens in the Northwest, so Simmons doesn't think twice about the order and packs up the hens. And as you would expect, Gerald isn't too satisfied with his order. Now, let's say his order comes in and they got pens right, but instead of 15, he got 50. Now, he wouldn't mind, but it wouldn't be good for the company. Another threat is the theft of inventory. You see, Simmons, besides having poor hearing, has a terrible sweet tooth. And he believes that one stolen unicorn from the factory will get him lots of candy. So he takes the unicorn, and the business loses some valuable inventory. The last of our threats are shipping errors. These include the failure to ship, sending duplicate orders, or sending to the wrong address altogether. Now we can address each of these threats with the following controls. For picking the wrong order or wrong amount, we can use barcodes or RFID tags to track our inventory. We can also reconcile the picking ticket and the sales order to make sure the order is correct. So you can use barcodes or RFID tags, and you can reconcile the picking ticket and sales order. To address the theft of inventory, we can restrict access to the inventory. We can also use barcodes or RFID tags to track where inventory moves through the warehouse. Or we can document inventory transfers. And finally, we can count inventory and check that against what's in the system. So we can set restrictions to the physical access of inventory, use barcodes or RFID tags, document inventory transfers, and periodically count and reconcile inventory. Let's move on to the controls for shipping errors. First, 
you can compare the shipping documents with the sales order, packing slip, and picking ticket to ensure that the correct items are being shipped. You can also set up an RFID system which will identify delays. Finally, you can configure your ERP system to prevent duplicate orders. So you can compare shipping and sales documents, use an RFID system, and configure your ERP system to help prevent shipping errors. Well, that's it for shipping. Next, we sail to the land of billing and cash collections. Until then, We'll see you later.